How to duplicate your Shopify store. Copy your Shopify store. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys the different methods that you can deploy to copy your Shopify store. So let's get into it. Now, what might be the reason for you to copy your Shopify store? That is the first question that comes up. Well, there can be many different reasons. First off, you might want to transfer ownership to a different person and you might have just been developing the store or maybe you sold your business to someone and now you have to transfer your store. Secondly, the second reason to duplicate your store is maybe you're trying to test out a new variation of your store and you want to test out certain themes or certain styles or you want to build a new store using the basic structure of your pre-existing stores. Then in that particular situation, you might want to duplicate the style of your store and for that you want to duplicate your store to another Shopify account. So I'll show you guys the different things you can do to help you in copying your Shopify store. First off, the most basic and easiest thing that is going to come to your mind to copy your Shopify store is going to be going into online store on your Shopify dashboard. Once you go into online store on your Shopify dashboard, you can see you have your current theme applied. You can click on these three dots over here and click on duplicate. Now, once you click on duplicate over here, this will actually add a copy of your theme. So the way that you have arranged everything, all of your presets will be added into your theme library. And your theme library is going to help you in making a alternate variation of your store. So if you're only looking to duplicate your Shopify store so you can make personal changes and then maybe choose whether or not you want them to be publicly visible, then you can go on ahead and add it to your theme library. Now, in another situation where you might want to transfer ownership of your store, you can do that by going into settings on the left and you will have users and permissions. So once you click on users and permissions, you can click on transfer ownership. Once you click on transfer ownership, you guys can see a new store owner can be added and you can enter your password, first name and the last name of the new owner and the email address of the new owner. When the new owner accepts your invite to be the new owner, then you will be removed as the store owner. Keep in mind that the new owner will have full permissions to remove you, edit any billing info, as well as pause or close the store. Now, moving on to the next way that you can duplicate your Shopify store. Now, that is via applications, and there are several applications out there that can help you in copying your Shopify store into a new store. So this is my store. This is a blank Shopify store that I have, and it's literally called 26C007-4F by Shopify. So this is like a free store that I've created. Now, let's say I want to transfer MLN into this store. So how can I take my products, my customers, all of that and transfer it? Well, to do that, you can go ahead and go into settings on the bottom left. Once you open up settings on the bottom left, you can scroll into apps and sales channels on the left as well. And once you open up apps and sales channels, click on Shopify App Store to open up the Shopify App Store. And over here, you're just going to search for Duplify. Now, once you search for Duplify or Duplicate, you will see this application over here, which is called Duplify Duplicate Your Store. So you can click on this particular application. It's by the developer of Presido Creative. Click on install over here and you will see they have a free plan available. You can run five product exports for free. Then on their starter version starting at $79 per month, it includes 1000 export events per month at their uh, particular paid rate. And then after that, if you want to export more product, then it's going to be $0.05 per event. Now, once I have gone ahead and click on install on the Shopify app store, I have to complete the installation process on my dashboard. So click on install in your dashboard. And once you do that, you will see the Duplify application on your Shopify apps. Now, once you see the Shopify uh, application on your Shopify dashboard, you have a couple of steps to transfer your store or to duplicate your store. 
First off is you have to choose how you want to duplicate your store. So if you want to export your data out or if you want some uh, data to be transferred in. So we're going to source our data from here and you're going to add the destination store key. And if you don't know where to find this, you can open up this simple article and you guys can see that your store destination key is going to be present over here. So in my empty store, which is called my 26C007 store, I'll go on ahead and install the Duplify application as well because you need it on both ends to be able to duplicate your store. So I'll just search for Duplify in this and we're going to download the same application into our other Shopify store as well. So I'll just wait for this to be completed and I'll click on install over here. And once I do that, I have my Duplify application and I'll copy this ID. And this is the destination store. So what I'm going to do now is enter my store key, the store name and any notification email that might be used. Then you have the export options. So if you want to export products, collections, events, and more, and you can choose, you know, your particular export options and then the plan that you want. Now I have to confirm my email address for this as well. So I'll just go on ahead, copy the store email address that I am using for both of these accounts. I'll just insert that, copy this and paste it over here. And after that, you will see you want to see Duplify in action, start with a free demo. Five products will be exported to your destination store. Now you can start with a demo or with a full export. For the purpose of this video, I'll just use a simple demo to show you guys the complete export. Now you will see export event total and it will take some time depending on the number of products you have. So once you've done that, if I go ahead and take a look at the product in my duplicate store, you guys can see my silk blouse has now been inserted into my duplicate store as well. So you guys can see the silk blouse is available over here. And in this way, you can duplicate your product. Now, if you want to duplicate your entire store, click on start complete store export and you have your export options. So I want to export my active theme as well as my product collections, customers, as well as pages, redirects, and meta fields. And then I can click on start export. You can see the estimated events total. And below that, you can get started with the plan of your choice to get started with complete exportation of your store from one Shopify to another Shopify store. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to get started with creating a duplicate store on shopify if you did find this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any questions or queries about shopify or any other platform leave those in the comment box down below i would love to know what you guys have to say